there might be some big trouble ahead for the electric car industry. A new survey indicates nearly half of EV owners want to switch back to traditional vehicles. William Lajeunesse tells us what that means. I want to jump in and give you a ride to Washington. Even a sales pitch from President Biden and massive subsidies can't rescue the EV market. EV values and EV market has dropped substantially. Like, you could use the word collapse here. EV sales jumped from 2% of new cars sold in 2021 to 8% last year, but nosedived in the first quarter of 2024 for a variety of reasons, including buyers watching EVs die in freezing temperatures. Once you take a car off the lot, an electric vehicle is depreciating 50% of its price compared to 6% depreciation of an internal combustion engine vehicle. A recent McKinsey report says nearly half of U.S. owners would likely switch back to a gasoline-powered car if given the chance. For electric vehicle owners, it may cost just as much or more to charge their vehicles than it would be to purchase gasoline. That's especially true for fast chargers when you can find one. You see a lot of consumers, they have both price anxiety and range anxiety. AAA also found declining interest with two-thirds of buyers saying the next car they buy will not be electric. We just need a couple of minor little sort of milestone improvements in battery technology and efficiency, combine that with the infrastructure, and that comes together and it's gonna take off like a rocket. Another question, how long can manufacturers hold on? Fisker last week declared bankruptcy with Rivian, Polestar, and Lucid burning money. Ford says it's currently losing $100,000 on each EV sold. Dealers tell me there are buyers for EVs, a second car, big cities, short commutes, but for others, families, suburbs, rural areas, older buyers, even government handouts can't overcome their skepticism. In Los Angeles, William Lajeunesse, Fox News.